So today we are going to see how to install Confi UI directly on your PC. So of course, uh, if uh, you decide to install Confi UI on your PC, you should have an NVIDIA graphic card. And uh, I will suggest you to use uh, at least a good NVIDIA graphic card. So let's say a 4060 or even a 5060 as a minimum. And of course, if you have something higher, like a 5060T or a 5080, you can use that for sure. If you have a lower graphic card or if you are operating on a Mac, for example, I will strongly suggest you to run Confi UI with Rampod. And of course, I have a video on how to run Confi UI in Rampod as well. But now let's focus on installing Confi UI directly in your computer. So first of all, you need to go into this GitHub Confi UI and don't worry, I will put the link in the description. So just open the link in the description and you will be bring into this page. So if we scroll down, we can see that this is Confi UI. And if we scroll down uh, again, here in the installing session, if you are on Windows, you follow this procedure and I am on Windows, so I will follow this proce procedure. If you are maybe on Linux, uh, you can follow this one, but, but we will proceed to install the Windows version. So that the, here there is a direct link to download and with this uh, we will download a zip file. So make sure to have a program to unzip it, but I mean, everyone have a program to unzip a zip file. So this should not be a problem. So direct link to download, we click it. And our download is starting. Now, this is two gigabytes. So it will take a little bit of time. I will return to you as soon as the download has finished. Perfect. Now that our config while is downloaded, we can open the file and we can extract everything, we choose uh, in uh, which uh, part of our computer we extract uh, our folder. So I will choose uh, the desktop and I will extract all the files inside this folder. And these are uh, five gigs and a half. So almost, so five gigs of files. So it will take a little bit of time and I will return to you as soon as the entire process as finished. Perfect. So I have extracted the, the folder here on my desktop. Now we double click it and we open it. So we have Confi UI and another few folders. Now we want to open it. And so if you are uh, using an NVIDIA GPU, as uh, I highly suggest you to, you want to run this one. So run NVIDIA GPU. If uh, you want to run this version, so this is the uh, fast FP16 version, this is faster, of course, as it says, but uh, the quality will be a little bit uh, less. So I suggest you to go with run NVIDIA GPU, or if you want it a little bit faster with this one. So we double click it. And here, this is just uh, a security warning that the author of this program is unknown, but uh, we know that we can trust it, so we can just run it. Now, when you run it the first time, it will take a while here to download and upload everything and open up Confi UI. We are now here in this Confi UI page. So here uh, we can select uh, what uh, we want to do. So if we want to create an image, we can go in images and here we will have different models. So when image to text, uh, when image edit, flux context, and a lot, a lot more. As you can see, if we go want to create some videos, we have a lot of different uh, models. So we have uh, the King 1.2 as of now is the King in the future. I'm sure that uh, another version of one or another open source model will be the king. But anyway, we can go with video, we can go with images, and we can search for all the templates. Now, here is our Confi UI. But before starting to 
uh, going to workflows and to all the other stuff, I want to install the manager because the ConfUI manager will be your best friend inside ConfUI and it will allow us to do a lot of different things. So first of all, we are going to install the manager. But if, uh, to, in order to install the manager, we need to get Git. So Git is a program that will allow us to get our manager and other stuff. But for now, just focus on our manager. So we go on to the Git page. And of course, I will link you the Git this page to download it in the description. And we just download for Windows if we are using Windows. I'm on the x64 setup, so I git for Windows 64 setup and it will download it. Perfect, the download is finished. We can open this .x file and we proceed to install git. So now we will click next a few times. So next, here I will set it up in the folder, the usual folder for the programs, you do you. So if you want to install it in a different folder, just browse your folder. Here we will go with the default. So click next. Next again. Next again. Next again. There are a lot of passages, but Go with next for all of these because uh, we install the default version, so the default uh, settings. And now we are installing it. Now we have installed it just fine and we click finish. Now we can uh, go in GitHub and in this page, so ConfUI Manager. Of course, I will link this page in the description as well. So we are going to use this installation method because this is the easiest installation methods. So we have to go into our ConfUI folder. So here, ConfUI. We go into custom nodes. And after that, we need to access the CMD. So to access the CMD inside our folder here, we go CMD and we press Enter. Perfect. Now we are inside the CMD and we are inside our custom node folders, as you can see. And we select this one. We copy it. We paste it and press Enter. So now it is installing our Confi UI manager inside our Confi UI. So as soon as this entire process has finished, we will have our ConfUI manager inside ConfUI. And if you already open ConfUI, make sure to restart it to have the ConfUI manager installed properly. So this is done. Now we can go back into ConfUI here. And we can double click on Run NVIDIA GPU. Now, as you can see here, ConfUI Manager installing dependency. So we have to wait until this entire process has finished. As soon as this is finished, our ConfUI will be ready to go. So I will check with you later. Perfect. And now we are inside our ConfUI. And here on the right corner, we have our manager. And this will be our best friend inside ConfUI. Now, another quick thing that uh, I want, uh, that I like to use inside ConfUI when I use my own PC is to have this bar here so that uh, I can see immediately how much RAM is used, how much GPU is used, how much VRAM and the temperature and the CPU. So in order to install this, it is super simple, but uh, I think that uh, it is uh, Super cool to have it and useful. So if you want to install this, uh, this tool here, we can go in Manager, Custom Node Manager. We type Chris Tools, as we can see. And here I already installed it, of course, because I already have it. 
you will click install you will choose the version so if i click uh, for example this one just to let you see i can choose the version so same thing here and once you finish to install this tool you can just uh, you have to restart your conf ui and here you will have the restart button the process the conf ui will restart it and you will have this bar here so you can see what's happening in your pc so now we so now you know how to install conf ui on your pc you know how to download the manager and have this bar here in the next video we are going to see how to create workflow like this one how to use uh, other templates like the Flux Crea one, for example, or Flux Context or anything else. But a little quick thing uh, that I want to show you is uh, the difference uh, between uh, Rampod and uh, your own PC. So in the next video, I'm going to use uh, Rampod for the most part. So we are going to see how to install a checkpoint on Rampod and so on. But but. When you use Rampod and uh, when you use ConfUI on your PC, it is pretty much the same thing when it comes to downloading checkpoints, downloading LoRa's, downloading a model, because you will always have to place the file that you download inside your ConfUI folder that you've downloaded. So, really quickly, you go into ConfUI, into Models, and here, if you download a checkpoint, you will put into the checkpoint folder if you download uh, a diffusion model you will go here into in diffusion models if you download a lora you can put it here into the loras folder and so on so everything you download you will place it inside the proper folder and your conf ui will work just fine so in the next video we are going to see of course how to create a workflow like this one this is the most basic workflow at the end we will go through all the different nodes each one of this little rectangle here is a node so we are going to see what is this one the load checkpoint what is the positive prompt the negative prompt the case sampler the empty latent image the va the code and the preview image so this uh, again is a basic basic workflow but uh, in order to understand how to use conf ui correctly and uh, in order to understand some uh, more complicated workflow you need to understand the basics of uh, conf ui and of uh, image and video generation with conf ui so in the next video we are going to see everything and we are going to learn how to use it like a pro of course, if you have any question, just ask me, just make a post in the community and I will help you. And I'm going to see you in the next video.